What's going on YouTube? Make sure to subscribe and hit that bell for notifications so we can move the chains and let's get into this awesome video. Before we dive in, one quick thing you're going to want to know is that speculation suggests that these uniforms are made by Adidas because the template from Adidas matches the uniforms in the XFL, although there is no Adidas symbol on the uniform visible. So still, we're going to wait to figure that out. We'll probably find that out once the uniforms are in stores. Now this was so difficult ranking these uniforms because I love them all so much and I think they did a fantastic job. Let's get into it. Number eight. The Vipers have an extremely unique colorway with yellow and different shades of green. The helmet is a bright green with the Vipers logo and a yellow face mask matching the numbers. And it turns out these are the actual jerseys that were leaked earlier in the year. So the Vipers come in at number eight. The Seattle Dragons have another unique helmet design which really separates itself from the other teams. And also, if you look at the rounded numbers, I think that was a great addition to the uniforms. The blue and the orange comes together and I like the green on the sides and the all white always looks good. I think the Dragons have a pretty nice setup going forward. The St. Louis Battlehawks, definitely a unique look. Kind of reminds me of the Philadelphia Eagles Oregon with the winged helmets, but it's definitely different out there. It really stands out and the uniforms just look great. Simple, nothing too much, but I think they get the job done. The DC Defenders uniforms are clean and simple, yet they look incredible. The red and white is from the DC flag and the coat of arms from the Founding Fathers, and it just looks great. Also, notice the lightning bolts on the side give this jersey the edge. I can't say enough about the approach of this uniform simplistic design. It works for me. The LA Wildcats come in with some pretty nice uniforms, all black and all white. We'll first look at the all black. You can see the claw marks on the helmet and on the side panels of the uniform. The colorway just looks great and it reminds me of the demons in the original XFL. I really love the helmets and the simplicity of the design with the LA interlocked and the orange face masks. Man, other than North Carolina using Carolina Blue, I can't think of another program that has used this color so well, mixing it with black and red. The Dallas Renegades look sharp. Really love these helmets. The North Carolina blue looks great for the Renegades in Dallas, and I love these jerseys. The Houston Roughnecks come in at a very close second. Would you take a look, first of all, at these silver helmets? They pop out, they look great, and I'm glad they decided to go with something flashy. One of my personal favorite designs on the uniform is the Star of Texas, but hear me out. Do these kind of remind you of the Patriots jerseys? just a little bit. I hope that didn't hurt your opinion of these because I do think these look really fantastic. Black, red, and gray. Wow, these are my favorite threads from the XFL. They feel scary, almost like a gargoyle. They have the stripes on the sleeves and the pants that just pop right out. Also, on the numbers, they look great. And then, just an incredible move by making the away jersey gray. Can we get some appreciation for that? Love the touch by the Guardians. Thanks for watching The End Zone, and I want you to comment down below what the order of uniforms you think should be. And if you like the XFL uniforms as a whole, also comment your favorite team in the comments section. Thanks for watching The End Zone. Make sure to like, subscribe, and comment so we can move the chains.